Hi, everybody. Uh, this is John DeRolay uh, with Wheelhouse, head of onboarding and revenue management. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, some of the steps that we're going to look at for when we go ahead and start onboarding your listings. And once we've done, you know, as some of you know, if you've already been working with me, uh, usually what we do is we go ahead and upload a bunch of, of initial data uh, into the system. Um, once we get past that, we really start diving into the step where we have to go into the listings themselves and configure them. So I just wanted to make a quick, couple quick videos for you guys to help give you some reminders about how to approach this and show you some of the different tools you have in adjusting the wheelhouse pricing curve to uh, match your expectations and really set you up for success. So the first thing I want to talk about today is when we go into a listing, we do have this wonderful in context view. And this is gonna be really helpful for setting up your listings. Uh, the first thing that I'll note here is you can see if I hover over any of the dates, uh, it's gonna give me a readout of what it is the data is showing. That's right here. If I go to the upper right, uh, there's a few things I can do as well. One, I can change the size of this screen. Two, I can also click this display legend, which I almost always do. You can see it adding this legend here at the bottom. Uh, and I'm going to click that off. The next thing I might do is if I click this caret here, I can add other data as well. So uh, if I click to add series, you can see there's a bunch of other data here. If I have comp sets, I can add that. The most important one that we may optionally use is this last year's bookings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add that. Um, you can see here now that I do have a little bit of a readout of where this property was booking last year as well. Now, the reason this chart is going to be so helpful is in setting up Wheelhouse, you're going to see rates that are different than what you've been doing in the past. Um, in some cases, this is going to be fine. In some cases, this may some be something you want to intervene on. The key is we can use this tab to compare what the current pricing is. If I hover over this current settings, it's going to show what Wheelhouse is recommending. Uh, this will include any changes you make to the algorithm. We can also see the current price in your property management system. So that's what this observed pricing line is. We're going to assume that you have quite a bit of institutional knowledge uh, in your current pricing line. We can use it as a benchmark to kind of set up the rest of Wheelhouse. And then you can also use it to make a decision based on what you know is going on now. You know, have you been pacing well? Has the property been doing well? Do you think you can raise the rate? Have you been having to cut the rates? Those are all things we can consider when we're setting up a pricing line. Last, if I added this last year's bookings, it just gives me another marker so I can tell, you know, at a glance, if the price that I'm setting up in Wheelhouse as my standard structure is going to fit with kind of how the property's operated in the past. Now, a few other tidbits here as we're kind of looking at this. If I click and hold, I can zoom in to any individual time period, just get a closer view and see what's going on. And once I start to look at this, really the key here is I want to take a look at this listing and its pricing and kind of spot any significant differences that may be a concern for me. You know, I know that this price is going to be uh, uh, different than kind of what I have set up, but what I want to make sure is that the overall shape is the same, that I'm really capturing the same, identifying the same demand periods. Uh, if I'm capturing events, uh, or major demand periods as well. I'm curious to see if those align. Uh, I'm also curious to see what is going to happen here in kind of the next couple months. Uh, this is really important because what we're doing right now is setting up the foundational structure of your pricing algorithm. This is kind of like the key things that are going to go into the algorithm and help it produce pricing, you know, month after month and year after year. And sometimes we may notice differences, especially in the next couple months. Uh, between what Wheelhouse is recommending and what we've been doing in our portfolio. We'll have to ask ourselves the question if there are significant differences here, like there are in this situation. Uh, we may want to ask ourselves the question, is this something that I actually want to build permanently into the algorithm? Or is this something that I want to maybe affect in another way? If I look at this listing right now, uh, I just want to point out a few differences that we'll kind of talk about. Um, that we can kind of deal with and think about how we might deal with going forward. First of all, this short term is a little different. It could be that I've really been reducing rates in the short term. 
Maybe it's something like, I think the market's overpriced, so I've really just been trying to fill up. It could be uh, maybe this unit is behind all my other units, whereas this one, you know, the units, the market may be really strong, but this unit's behind. In either case, there's a pretty big difference here in the short term. What I'm going to do is look over to kind of where that time period is next year. And what's interesting to me is where the rate plan is kind of being produced. Uh, we are much more in line with kind of what my expectations are. So I might label this or think about this something as temporal. I don't want to reflect what's going on here in my current pricing in the short term. In the structure overall, I actually want my structure to look more like what we're doing out here in that similar time period. And I may have to come back and make some adjustments in the short term before I turn this pricing on. What's another thing that we can notice? The seasonality curve looks pretty similar. You know, we kind of go up here, we kind of straddle this line, we come down. I'm a little bit higher, wheelhouse uh, as an I wheelhouse, is a little bit higher through this low season. That's something I'm going to note that may, we may want to deal with. Pretty similar over here, pretty similar up to here. And then there's some big spikes that we're seeing in the wheelhouse recommended rate. This is pretty far in advance. That might be something I'm okay with. You know, I am adopting a pricing system to really help me drive, uh, drive revenue on these high demand periods. The last one I'm going to note here too is that there are a couple event periods that Wheelhouse is definitely treating a little different. You can see that we have Thanksgiving, where Wheelhouse has a little bit of a bump, uh, but definitely not as big as this bump. We've also got this Christmas period, uh, which has a little bump as well, and Wheelhouse really isn't dealing with that as a demand bump. So those are things I'm just going to log as I look through my listings and see if those are... Um, time periods that kind of reoccur, because there's going to be a couple ways that I'm going to deal with those. All right, so in the next video, we're going to go over base rate and talk about how we fit this kind of overall rate curve to our rates.